everyone! Today we're gonna go for the Beastmaster of Tatooine. There's quite a few beasts on this one, so it will be quite a journey. And, just as a beginning warning, there will be one of them where you will need to come as either a Jedi Knight or as a Sith Warrior because it's part of the storyline for those two classes. And if you like what I do on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon for just one dollar a month. It really helps me and my content out a whole lot. The first one will be the Bantha. But the Bantha you will find near Outpost Laguna. Um, if you are on Imperial side, it will be Rich side Sentry Post, which will be just south of here. And there is like a little nook in here where there is a Sand People camp. Behind these uh, flimsy walls are some Banthas. And we will just go up and say hi to them. Hello! The next one will be the Dune Claw. And this is a kind of a weird one because the enemy you need to kill is actually not called that. It's called Cliffside Sunrunner. You will find this in the wound area right here, just south of Outpost Laguna. Or if you're on Imperial, it would be Rich Side Sentry Post, which is right in here. There is a path directly from that outpost here and at the crossway up where you can see the purple mastery datacron you will find a few of them easily right there you go the next one is the reek the very well known enemy from attack of the clones the codex you will get from these Rockhide Reek, which is a neutral enemy. They will not attack you, but you can kill them. You will find them very, very center here in the Jundan, uh, near Sunset Ridge. Not that far from Ridge Side Sentry Outpost, which is the Imperial. If you come as a Republic, you will come from either Dreviad or Outpost Laguna. But near the outpost here where there will be some buildings, you can find a small little nook here if I zoom in. It looks almost like a Y. And you will find them right here. Right there you go. The next one will be the Raid. It's a very funny name for it. You will find plenty of these in the Imperial area of the Jundland south of the wound so not that far from rich side sentry post you will find strong rock hide raids the one with the silver border on and you simply kill it right there you go the next one will be the do back this one i highly recommend you get on imperial side because Hmm. It's outside Outpost Baroth, which is an Imperial area, of course. This is the first camp you get to when you come from Mos Ila, which is down south, of course. And they will be roaming just outside of the Outpost. They are friendly NPCs, and they're strong. They're called Doom Roma Dupak, and it has to be these. And all you need to do is walk straight up to them. Right there you go! If you are determined to get this on a Republic character, I recommend to come on a Stealther. Because either you have to go through Out Outlaw's Den and all the way through Moss Anik, or you have to go through Heroic Area. Either way, that will not be an easy trip. The next one will be the Rill, and I will definitely also recommend doing this on Imperial side. It's way easier to get to. You will be in this little um, enclosed area because you have to go through a cavern right here. It is very much part of Imperial character storyline already, especially the Sith Warrior. So it's easy to get to from Imperial encampments. You need to find the Sand People Poisonous Rill. 
not very difficult to find in this area. There are plenty of them and you simply need to kill it. Right, there you go. The next one will be the Womp Rat. This is kind of a funny one because you pass some, when you come from Republic side at least, through this tunnel from the Jundlands. So you will go from Outpost Alora and you will fly through this tunnel in or cavern if you like and into the Dune Sea and you pass a few right here at the opening and you just simply need to go up and say hi to them. Right there you go! Easy peasy! So the next one will be the Skik or Skike. I am not completely sure how to pronounce it. But you will find this of course still in the Dune Sea. But just north of out Outpost Thorazan. You will find like a plateau here of flattened sand. And almost like when you play Mass Effect and you reach one of those flat plateaus you just know this is gonna be a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. You will walk up here and you will find a champion called Frenzied Skik or Skike depending on what it is and we need to kill it so ambush! Right there you go! Ah, not too bad! The next one will be the Sand Tusker. Uh, you will find this in the depths of the Dune Sea as well, but in the north part right here, there will be like a small, like, oasis kind of look right here, and it's directly east from that. You will find a lone little slockish Sand Tusker, and we will just go up and greet it. Hey there! Last but not least, we do have the Sand Demon. This is the one that requires either a Jedi Knight or a Sith Warrior. The Sith Warrior story you will find in that little area here, the canyon kind of thing, near Outpost Varoth. The path is through the tunnel right here, and your mission as a Sith Warrior will be somewhere in here. It is part of the storyline where you have to do a specific ritual to find a certain woman. But for the Jedi Knight, it is right here in the Dune Sea. Yeah, I know, I don't have much of the map uncovered. It is directly south of Out Outpost Thorason. It is in the Crate Dragon Graveyard and your story mission will be right here, of course. And you just follow that in and meet a sand demon. After you've talked to Brick and his little family, you will run further down and the very first sand demon spawn you find is the one you need to kill and you will get the final achievement. There you go, easy peasy, right? Thank you for watching, subscribe, please leave a like, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, maybe add a comment, let me know which one was the most difficult for you to get. And finally, I'd like to thank my Patreons for supporting my content. Bye!